Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com Blender tutorial. This is the third tutorial in a series of four on how to make a simple low-poly cartoon house. In this video we're going to go over how to make the window, the chimney, and also we're going to change this uh, green color of the frame of the house in this 3D uh, window mode uh, from this green to yellow to match uh, what we actually have now. If you render this out we got a yellow house so having green here really doesn't make a whole lot of sense so let's go ahead and right click on the frame of the house and here's what's getting us right here and that's good enough now what we can do is start on the window so I'm gonna start on the window over here in layer 2 so I just click down here and let's move down here and do shift and we're uh, do a mesh plane and I'm gonna rotate that RX 90 and what I'm gonna do is go into edit mode and move this 0.25 units in the negative Y direction so G Y negative 0.25 and that's good and what I want to do now is I want to go and uh, extrude this out so E Y negative 0.1 so now this is 0.35 units away from the origin here and I want to get rid of that face so let's go and delete that and there we go now we're left with uh, the vertices here so let's select those go into front view and hit well actually I want to select everything first and do SX 1.5 because I want a horizontal type window and now what I can do is do an alt right click on this outer edge loop here and do uh, S and then bring that out and as you can see um, as I can see that wasn't quite what I wanted um, let's undo that I forgot to uh, extrude so E S and now we can extrude out very good okay and what you can see here is that the top and bottom uh, portions here are skinnier than the right and left so let's do an S Z and just make that so that they're both about the same size good now what we can do is with this all selected hit E Y point three five to bring that back to the origin and that's pretty decent um, what I want to do now before I do anything else is to go ahead and select everything and we got our uh, we're in the materials tab here let's add a new material and we'll call that window frame and I'm just gonna make this a little more white than it is now by turn up the intensity and turn up uh, the white there and I'm gonna turn down the specular intensity um, I don't see any point in that really um, I don't want it to be that shiny uh, but now what I want to do um, let's go ahead and get in face mode here we'll sign that uh, now I just want to click this center guy here let's do uh, click the plus sign here to add a new material and click new and we'll call this glass whoop uh, glass very good now let's go ahead and change this to a light blue kind of a color something like that how to do turn up the intensity a little bit uh, we'll get the specular up quite a bit and turn the hardness up and now that we did that let's do a sign and now we got our glass color there which should be reflecting the sky or something um, anyways um, now that we're done with that let's go back into uh, vertex mode and let's go into object mode and let's add the uh, horizontal and uh, vertical bar or slat or whatever you want to call that that goes in there for the window so I'm just gonna add a cube so mesh cube and let's go into top-down view and I'm gonna move this so that it's right right about in the center and let's just size that in the uh, Y direction so S Y and shrink that down Whoop. and it looks like I shrank that maybe a little 
No, no, I, I think that's good. Yeah, that, that's, that's good. Yeah, now what we need to do is we need to shrink this uh, in the X direction because this is way too wide. So let's do S, X. Shrink that down to what we like. Something like that ought to be good. And so uh, one problem we can see here is that this side that's sticking out here is way too long compared to this side. However, this doesn't matter because we're going to actually be uh, reflecting all of this uh, using the mirror modifier here shortly. So we don't need to worry about that. The only thing uh, we need to do now is go and give this material of uh, window frame. So now we can go ahead and let's do a shift D to duplicate it. RX, or sorry, R, yeah, RX 90. Well, no, Y. <laughs> and uh, we need to stretch that out so that it reaches the end, uh, so it reaches the edge of the window. So let's do SX. There we go. And that was pretty easy. The only thing that we need to do here is the place where these two guys are intersecting uh, will look really weird on the when it gets rendered uh, because they're both at the same exact spots and I think Blender has a little bit of trouble there uh, understandably so so let's go ahead and move this so that they're not exactly on the same plane uh, if you will so I'm just gonna hit G Y and just move this back just a touch and so you can see this kind of this vertical bar overlaps the horizontal bar a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and select everything here. And I'm uh, going to do a control J. And uh, let's call that window. All right. Um, one thing we should do too is smooth the shading. So there we go. And now we can move that back into layer one. So do M one and you can see now it's right there and looking pretty good uh, let's just move this over so I'm gonna do a GX and it's pretty wide actually so I'm gonna shrink the whole thing down so just S and then shrink it down a little bit and then I'm gonna do GZ to bring this up and while this looks fine I guess I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so it looks a little askew so R X uh, Y <laughs> and do something like that so it looks a little bit you know messy that's lots of cartoons do that I guess so now that we're done with that we can move on to our chimney which really isn't too hard at all so let's go well first let's render this to see how uh, our house looks with the window and uh, I got to move this light so that we got a little more light near that window. Yeah. Not good, not good. Perhaps I just need to turn up the lighting a little bit right now. Can't spend a whole lot of time because I really don't have a lot of time. Okay, I did some messing around here um, <laughs> because I didn't want to waste too much time. I'm going to turn down the energy of this uh, lamp back down to one. And uh, what I had to do was I had to go into here, select everything into edit mode, uh, select everything, and I just went in and I did a recalculate. And then that uh, fixed everything. So let's go ahead and render. And now we got something that's much, much better. So now we can move ahead to our chimney. So let's go ahead and uh, we just need to start with a mesh cube. And let's move that guy over onto uh, this side of the house because the window is over here. This, that's where the living area is. I would imagine this is where uh, people walk through, whatever, you know, something like that. So um, I'm gonna go in to edit mode and do GZ1 so that the origin is on the bottom of this guy and that way it will make it easier for me to uh, scale or stretch this stuff and uh, okay well let's grab the top of this so let's do that and I actually want that to go down a little bit so I'm gonna do GZ1 or not one but I'm just gonna slide it down 
And now I'm going to do an E, and I'm going to bring that up along the x-axis. Do an E again. And do another E. And now I'm going to bring it up as high as I want it to be. So E, and bring that guy up. Very good. That should be good. Okay. Now I'm going to want to scale this in every direction except, well, select everything. Scale this in every direction uh, and go into object mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> scale it in every direction except for um, the Z direction. So do S, Shift Z, and you can see everything shrinks in every direction but the Z direction, which is what I wanted. So now I'll go back into edit mode and let's go into the face mode. And I want to get rid of this guy right here. So delete only faces. And go back into vertex mode. Select these guys. Extrude. So E, S. And bring that in a little bit. Now E, Z. And bring that down just a little bit. Not too much. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and move this along the Y axis. Something like that. And oh, oh, I'm going to press Control 3 so I can look at the side of this house and go back into edit mode again. And now what I'm going to start doing is, uh, well, first I need to click on that so I can see all my vertices. And I think that guy is way too far down, so I'm just going to do this. Um, there's going to be problems later on when we add our lattice, and you'll see why. But... Um, Unselect everything here. Select this row of vertices and do S, Y. So we only want to stretch this in the Y direction. And now let's unselect that. Select these. Do S, Y again. Something like that. Okay. And then grab these guys. S, Y. And uh, what I'm trying to do is kind of give this a little bit of a tapered look as much as I can. And let's get this last guy here. Oh, select everything here. S, Y, and there. Not too shabby. So that's pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to add a couple of edge loops along here. And you'll see why in a second. So... Control R and then uh, right uh, center mouse wheel up one and right click. And that way I got two edge loops right here. Uh, pretty decent. Uh, now, what I want to do is go back into uh, object mode, hit B, and I, uh, well, uh, I want to unselect everything first. And now I want to select everything here and hit H to hide it so I can see what I'm doing here with the chimney and right click on the chimney and go into edit mode again and what I want to do is I just want to get rid of this guy right here so delete only faces and go back into vertex mode and so this way we have an opening for our fireplace uh, inside the house so let's go ahead and click these guys do an E X and bring that in just a little bit and hit F to put a face there. Now that looks pretty good. Um, let's smooth that out. Um, actually, let's select everything here and just make sure, recalculate. Okay, so that's that's looking pretty good. And uh, last thing we'll want to do here is give that a material. So go to Material tab, click New, and we'll call this Chimney. And Let's just make that a red color, like bricks or something. I like turning that up all the way because you know kids like bright colors and stuff. And you know, if this is cartoonish, you know kids like colors. So, okay, so Alt H, we'll bring that back. And what we need to do now is click on the chimney, hit G, and well, actually, uh, since we know that that uh, this origin is right in the center of our chimney. I'm going to move this to the uh, 
x equals negative 4 line. So now we got our chimney halfway out and halfway in. So if we hide our roof, you can see there's the chimney. And we might want to slide that down a little bit. So uh, G, uh, whoops, Y, slide that down just a touch so that uh, the edge of this isn't touching this. So let's do Alt H to bring that back. And so there's our house. Let's render that. Um, I'm going to move this light so that we can uh, see it just a little bit better. So I'm just going to bring it up. And there you go. Or actually, what would be better is if I actually gave this place, um, I'm going to I'm going to delete this lamp and I'm going to go into uh, world view and I'm going to do blend sky and I'm going to want some sort of dark blue color here and on the horizon color I want that to be a, a, a lighter color I guess something that's not quite the same not the quite the same shade of blue is what's up, up above there and lighter so if we go and render oh that's terrible um, let's go down and do environment lighting click on that and there we go there's our house um, maybe we should uh, oh first name our chimney so it's right now called cube point oh oh one let's call that chimney okay now let's let's go ahead since we have a little bit of time here and add the ground so I'm just gonna go in do shift a mesh plane and I'm gonna do a s uh, 100 and so there's our ground and now we can add uh, just a green texture to it just so we have something um, let's just call that grass and give that a nice green color something like that and maybe a little bit blue or green make it just a little bit darker okay now let's see what we got here okay that's not looking too bad um, I'm gonna go and zoom in a little bit here kind of do something like this and do a control alt zero oh no no good uh, let's let's move that back a little bit okay so let's see where we're at here so if we render this we get kind of the corner here which isn't exactly oh, what you want um, let's move back a little more so G uh, mouse wheel click and then move the mouse back GZ to bring this up a little bit just a little more and there we go so let's render this and that is not looking too bad at all um, so that's where we're at right now I hope you enjoyed this video and in the next uh, video we'll go ahead and add the lattice and do some final touch-ups see you later bye